Well, here we are, getting ready to go. And what I have to say about Megan Rutledge, she was absolutely blisteringly fast through those whoops earlier when we saw her in seeding. Here we go, women's final on the line. Oh, and a big wow. jump, big Good jump. start there for Rutledge. But no, look, is that Kiera Fontanese, the Italian, going through first? It absolutely is, and no Italian woman has ever won. Look X at Games that. goal. X Games rookie, Chiara Fontanese from Parma, Italy, where the ham comes from. She is in the lead, leading over Megan Rutledge. We'll try to sort out the field here for you as they get across the timing and scoring. Oh, Rutledge is putting her under pressure already, though. And, you know, we saw that on this tight track and with that steel ramp, Chiara looked a little bit nervous. And Rutledge is trying to really force her way through the inside of the track here. That's a big stage for rookies. Absolutely. And look at this. Here we go to the inside. Oh, she go. Oh, no, she doesn't get it. Great battle going on there. Has she got it this time? It looks like she has. Rutledge moves through to the front. But Fontanese isn't going to give up easily. She's looking for the inside. And then Jessica Patterson coming up in third there, putting some pressure on the other two ladies. And Jessica Patterson, we know she has the speed. I mean, she's won her seventh title this year and has uh, formally announced that she will retire from professional motorcycle racing. But we've always known she's had the speed, but she spent some time on the deck at the races. And of course, she is being chased very closely by Vicki Golden. So Golden didn't get the best start, but now she's looking to get a move past Patterson. And, and I should say Patterson Fontanese. is retiring from motocross racing, going to the GNCC series. So Sorry, she, clarifying myself. She is not going to give up racing. Yeah, not giving up. She's way too good and way too fast. And there, Golden still trying to find a way through. This is 12 laps of racing. And Vicky Golden there, the number one, looking for the inside line. Oh, no, Patterson still manages to hold her off. She's looking to those insides. And Vicky is, is looking to push her way through if need be. And remember, she has a bronze medal in the uh, best whip competition against the men. And, and for uh, a while, was actually leading that competition on Twitter. So a lot of the ladies were voting for Vicky, but eventually won by Josh Hansen. Patterson has a silver medal from 2009. Here comes Vicky oh, Gold. Oh, here we go. Is she going to get it? Go. No. Patterson is still holding her off. And because they're battling, it's actually allowing Rutledge to put a bigger gap on them. Oh! Vicky trying to go with a tight inside line there, but it didn't work. And it cost her with speed in the whoop section. Saw her fall back. Good, good analysis there. I mean, she tried to go to the inside, but she kept it friendly. She didn't fill up the line of Patterson which I think if we get a little further into this race, you may see her uh, take the line away. This is becoming a close battle actually now for second place because they see Chiara Fontanese from Italy just landed, then Patterson, then Golden. So if one of them can find a way through, I think Golden is going to try and get the way through past Patterson and will probably take Fontanese on the way through. Well, watching them all in the rhythm section, different than the men, they're all using a very similar line through there. As we take a look at Megan Rutledge, 18 year old from Australia, and just putting in a great race right now while the other three battle behind her. She is actually already tackling the back markers there, coming up to Jackie Ives, trying to find that way through, and hopefully Ives will move over and let her around this corner. But Ives is still battling, doesn't realize, I think, perhaps, that this is Rutledge who's in the lead. Well, and the thing, too, to remember, this is some tight quarters, and seemingly to make a pass, you've got to get a little bit physical here and there. As Golden has ah, she got past Patterson. Look at her. She's super close to Fontanese, who made a mistake there in the whoop section. Golden going to try and cut on the inside. Not quite enough yet. Oh, Golden has to shift her line a bit. Gets caught inside. And this, this is a great race, though, for Fontanese, an X Games rookie coming in here. And that metal ramp at first was a real intimidating factor for her, but she seems to be much more comfortable. Look at the go. speed of Golden. Does she have it? No. The 
Vicky Golden is really having to work her way through this race. She's trying for a three-peat. She wants a third gold medal, but she has to get past the Italian Fontanese to get an, even a chance at chasing down Rutland. Down the inside, here we go, and she takes Blocky the line. move. Making it work. And Fontanese, if she could get a medal, but this is the final lap, so Vicky Golden is going to have to really turn it on. Rutledge coming through. Will she be able to hold this and take the gold medal in Los Angeles? I, I, whoa! Oh, no! no! Poked her fist! Oh, she thought she was going to win it, but she opened the door, went down, and Vicky Golden is going to take gold in Los Angeles over Rutledge. Did that just happen? Oh. Wow. Turn of events. Look at the dejection of Megan Rutledge. She thought she had it. She pumped her fist over the steel ramp, which was not the finish line, and made a mistake on the landing. Oh, wow. From the pinnacle of joy to the depths of defeat for Megan Rutledge. But Vicki Golden, it's the three peaks.